Uh, I haven't even really formally announced this project yet outside of just if you guys, if the very few people who see my Facebook or Instagram stories, they'll see this. Uh, I really haven't made a full blown announcement. I've talked to you guys kind of at length about it. Uh, th this whole project. I think people think I'm nuts. I'm really just somebody who didn't have really a better way to spend a stimulus check. I'll say that much, but um, to quote the great writer, Charles Bukowski, it began as a mistake. So I discovered this online. It's uh, called Free Blockbuster. You can check it out online, freeblockbuster.org. Um, I discovered it on Easter weekend, and a buddy of mine found one in California, and he was posting about it. Basically what this movement is, is it's, it's a, the proclaimed goal of this thing is to, quote, unquote, combat the myth of scarcity by providing free entertainment to as many people as possible while also preserving the rental experience. Essentially, what folks have been doing around the country, and there's a couple dozen of these things around the country, uh, is people have been buying old newspaper boxes. You remember the old 50 cent dollar, whatever they were, newspaper boxes where you put quarters in and take the paper out of the box. Mm -hmm. Or if you live in Chicago, I just know this because whenever you go, you always see these damn things, those those red eye papers, those free papers that are in like the kiosks, those sort of things. The goal, or at least the approach, is acquiring one of these old newspaper boxes, refurbishing it and rebranding it and painting it to look like a blockbuster. So painted in sunshine, gold and Royal blue, the, the typical colors of blockbuster and essentially placing it in an area that gets decent foot traffic and then filling it with DVDs, VHS tapes, Blu-rays, video games, toys. People have been doing a bunch of stuff with these things um, and, and really reviving that sort of uh, physical presence of movies. And that's what I'm getting at here too, is that, you know, we have so many streaming services. Christ, I have like seven or eight. Um, and and, and we, we're at the point now of not only saturation, but it's gotten to the point now where it's like, it's the, it's very similar to cable in that three, the old joke, 560 channels and still nothing to watch. It, it's, it, it's gotten to be that. The more choice you have, the more difficult making that choice winds up being. And when it comes to the, you know, the rental experience, and we talked at length about family video closing stores and then eventually closing down altogether, um, the rental experience is gone, if, you know, in a lot of places, say for mom and pop shops, bless their souls. And this free blockbuster movement is to bring that physical presence back. I think people in their heart of hearts, especially watching that last blockbuster documentary on Netflix, want that back. They want that ability to like, you know, pick up a movie or actually like, you know, take one home. This is what we are watching tonight, dear. And, and having that sort of experience. And as you can see, I think Dom has been flashing the, uh, on the screen periodically. Yeah. Um, Here's, real again, quick, this my... is, this is Steve's, this is Steve's photo. Yes. He, he took this picture, um, of the, this is, you yep. can see clearly this is the nation's news or is this USA today? This is USA Today. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, I was busy uh, last weekend. Um, next month, I'm aiming to have the first free blockbuster in Illinois. Nice. Not to mention the first one in a predominantly rural area. It's going to be located in the Illinois Valley where I currently reside. Uh, you can take a look on Instagram at free blockbuster LaSalle. I've got it up and running at the moment. Um, and you can see the photos being flashed. Um Oh man, it was a fun weekend. It was a fun Saturday that weekend. Um, I rounded up a couple of my close friends, uh, Mike and Sam. I rounded them up. I rented the, or I didn't rent. Uh, I borrowed the van, uh, one of the delivery vans from my father's liquor store <laughs> Saturday afternoon. And I drove out about, ha about 20 minutes away from my place because I found it on Facebook Marketplace because I was getting pissed initially because I kept trying to look for these newspaper boxes and I'm like, well, I got, I'm going to have to find one I can pick up within a decent region because to ship these monstrosities has got to be a hundred dollars, you know, yeah. to say the least. So I was finding them for like 350 bucks, $400, which is a lot of money for something at the end of the day that ain't going to make money. Mm. So on top of shipping. So I, I found this one close to me. It was 175 bucks. Uh, which wasn't too bad compared to the other ones I've seen. I found a, saw a really nice Chicago Sun-Times one online, but I couldn't bear to de desecrate that. That was my rule. I wasn't going to touch anything Tribune or Sun-Times. I wasn't going to touch any newspaper box. USA Today, whatever. But anyway, um, I purchased this thing. I bought some spray paint. And let me tell you, I learned, I learned that weekend. You can't not look sus buying spray paint. You really can't. Like – 
I went to the so she having a mask on, right? Because you you need to you need to wear a mask. So like, yeah. were you wearing a handkerchief too, or like a you know what I'm talking about the <laughs> the like the bandit mask or two, or were you have, did you have a regular? No, mask? I, no, I did have a regular form okay. fitting mask, um, but or face fitting mask. But no, I didn't I didn't have that. But I bought some spray paint. My buddies and I we lined my garage with newspaper because it was raining like a bitch, and we and we lined it with newspaper and we painted the damn thing. Uh, and it, it looks, looks great. It I looks think. crisp. I just flashed back to it, blue and gold. You are not kidding. That is crisp as hell. That looks real nice. Good work, dude. You don't. You know what? And I realized how dumb we were at the beginning because at first I wasn't oh. planning on painting the base. I was just going to paint the top blue and the, leave the base black. But then I'm like, you know what? Let's paint the thing gold at the yeah. very bottom and see what it looks like. So we did. So then it was gold, black, and blue. And then I'm like, okay, what the hell? I ran out and got more yellow spray paint. We spray painted the base. Um, we were stupid though because we took almost, it took almost two canisters of yellow to get it that bright because what we should have done in retrospect is probably paint the base white because it was going it was going yellow on black ah. so it took a lot to get that coat on if we were smart we probably would have primed it but yeah we you know, got that kind of time. that's all that's all like learning how to paint and stuff you're good yeah but we, we did it. it took a couple hours we went we were drinking while we were doing it we were cracking open some beers and stuff like that because you can't paint without beer um and we had a good time though uh it's not a hundred percent done yet but it's about 75 percent done i got some stickers uh that i'm gonna put on it because it's gonna be a take a movie leave a movie kind of thing i'm hoping to get donations when this thing is placed people take their old dvds or vhs tapes they don't want anymore they can throw them in the box um, I got some customized Instagram stickers I'm going to put on this. I want to make this thing in my town. I want to make this thing a site, an attraction, something people could take a picture of, Instagram, hashtag it. This is something that is going to be Illinois. It, 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 and I was talking, I actually had a convert, couple conversations. I've been making calls to local officials and stuff just to get in the clearance of doing this. Um, and, and I was talking to even the mayor of my town and he even said too, he's like, I love this. He's like, it's going to be the first of its kind in Illinois. It's not in Chicago. It's not in uptown. It's not in Tinley park. It's in LaSalle, Illinois. And I think that's beautiful. Um, I, I think that's a beautiful thing right there because a lot of these are in Cincinnati and Detroit and Tarzana and a lot of big areas and big metropolitans. I want to see something in, in this, in a rural area with this. So I'm about 75% of the way done. I got keychains made. I got keychains oh coming gosh, too. Oh my gosh, what? I got rubber keychains coming. Be on the lookout for that. You guys will get one. I'll, I'll put one to the side for you and Joe. Because um, I made a free Blockbuster LaSalle logo as well. Um, yeah, I, this, thing is, this thing is hitting the ground running. If you want to follow the progress, go to Instagram.com slash free Blockbuster LaSalle, L-A-S-A-L-L-E. And you can take a look there. Uh, I'm going to be tracking progress on uh, on the Instagram page because I'm hoping to have it done completely next week. I'm hoping to have it completely, all the cosmetic work. It's about 75% of the way uh, tailored at the moment. I'm hoping to have everything complete by next weekend. And I want to get this placed hopefully by mid-May, hopefully by Memorial Day. This mm. thing will be placed uh, and it could start gaining some traction because I think, I think that, the, I think this could be big. Um, and it's very similar in ethos to the free uh, libraries. Library yeah. I, I, I've heard of those before. Here. Those are very popular and they're, and they're good. I, I, I love the concept. I've, I've never actually seen a free library before uh, up, up front, but I know they do well and that they're, they're really just good for the community. We don't, we don't get a lot of, it, you know, community stuff going on uh, these days, particularly in the land of COVID. Uh, but you know, this is, a, if we're not getting theaters, if theaters go away, the dodo, this will be the next best thing. So hell yeah.